Biomechanics has been a positive and sustained force in my life. Playing sports dominated my life as a kid. I felt alive playing baseball and lacrosse, and I loved to ski and run. The only two books I read before graduating high school were a technique manual for downhill skiing and a coach's guide to the long jump. I had dyslexia and these rudimentary biomechanics manuals were the only books I found worth the struggle and embarrassment of reading. I studied biomechanics in college to learn how to recover my ability to walk after injuring my hip in a ski accident. I was motivated and read everything I could about biomechanics and entered graduate school a few years later when I could walk well enough to limp around the Stanford University campus. I studied design, robotics, neuroscience, and biomechanics in graduate school. I felt like I was in a good position to help people with impaired movement because I had empathy for the issues and I'd gained a strong background in engineering design and computer science, which was not so common in biomedical research at the time. After I finished at Stanford, I took a job at Northwestern University and the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago. As a new professor, I wanted to share my joy for biomechanics and teach principles that would enable students to understand and analyze muscle and movement. That gave rise to a course biomechanics and movement, which I've now taught about 30 times at Northwestern University and Stanford University. And the book, Biomechanics of Movement, and this course includes much of what I teach at Stanford. By taking this course, you'll learn some of the most important principles in biomechanics, a field that explains how living things work using physics, and thus it helps us understand and appreciate life. Biomechanics is at the center of many disciplines, including bioengineering, mechanical engineering, physical therapy, ergonomics, kinesiology, and biology. And I expect students from these fields will benefit from this course. The course is also good for people interested in neuroscience, robotics, and computer science, and sports. Writing and illustrating the book associated with this course with Tom Yoshida and my brother David Delp has been one of the most rewarding and enjoyable partnerships in my career. Much of this work was done during our jamborees at this table. Many examples were taken from work performed in my laboratory and my collaborators need to be recognized, which I do by naming them in the book and referencing our co-authored journal papers. The National Institute of Health has made lots of this work possible, and I'm deeply grateful to the NIH for support. I'm also thankful for the many friends I've made in biomechanics, which continues to be a positive force in my life. I hope you become one of my biomechanics buddies as well.